Twitch does grow faster than YouTube? It depends. They're two different platforms and you can't really compare the two because YouTube is predominantly based around long form content, which is kind of like um, your shorts and your, your videos, your long form videos. Whereas Twitch is predominantly streaming. Unless Twitch brings out some kind of long form video content like YouTube, you can't really compare the two. And I know a lot of streamers are making the switch over to YouTube streaming, but I don't think I will. For streaming, yes, Twitch has better discoverability, but as far as growth, in general, YouTube is probably the better way to go if you're making long form content. I am not really putting that much effort into YouTube. I'm trying to focus a lot more on TikTok shorts and, and stuff like that. I found that my discoverability on YouTube isn't as good as TikTok. Some of my videos are like getting really good numbers on TikTok and on YouTube they're like barely seen. It's so weird. It's so, so weird. Each platform has its own pros and cons. If you really, really want to grow, you can't just focus on one platform and one platform alone. You need to be putting your, wait, is this the right phrase? Putting your eggs into different baskets? I don't know, is that the right, is that the right phrase? It's don't put all your eggs in one basket. Oh, okay, <laughs> that's it. That's what I was trying to say. You know, like, it, it's the same thing. Put your eggs in different baskets, okay guys? <laughs> don't put them all in one basket. It makes sense, it means the same thing. If you focus on money, it's hard to get thousand subs on YouTube. Focus on content rather than subs. If your content is worthy of them, they'll sub. Very good, very true, very true. I'm gonna say something that a lot of you might not wanna hear. But if you are looking to start streaming, you can't just sit there and stream 24 hours a day, seven days a week. It's not, you're not gonna grow. You are not gonna grow, I can assure you. You need to network and you need to market yourself. You've gotta be creative. You can't just sit there and stream for 12 hours and expect people to come and find you. And I know this is probably not what you guys are gonna wanna hear either, but people tend to gravitate to towards attractive looking streams. So that means that I'm not saying you need like any crazy overlays or anything like that. I don't stream with an overlay. Like this is just my, my VTuber chatting screen, but my gameplay screen is just literally my, my model and my game. It's nothing fancy, but I have a VTuber model. She is cute, but I also face cam stream. People are attracted to those kinds of streams, especially if you've got fancy lights in the background. I know it sounds Really cliche, but it is true. It is 100% true. Unless you're somebody who, you know, people already know you for your skills, you need to talk. You need to have some sort of attraction, you know, that brings people in. You need to network. So that means creating social media accounts, whether that be Instagram, TikTok, Twitter. I use Twitter, I use TikTok. I try to use YouTube, but I don't really care about YouTube that much. You've seen people who stream for two years with less than five viewers? Yeah. Again, I am not an expert. I'm not a partner because I'm not putting all my energy into streaming. I still have a full-time job, so it's not wise for me to put any more energy than I can afford to give. I'm hoping to get partner at some point, of course, but I'm taking my time with this growth and doing it organically. Giveaways are not the way to grow. So do not think about doing giveaways unless you are already a big account and you've already got the following and you're giving back to that community and that following. Giveaways are not the way to gain new followers because they are superficial. They're very superficial. As soon as your giveaway ends, people are gonna forget you. Like people don't care. Giveaways give you fake followers. Exactly, exactly right. And I cannot stress this enough. Just because you have a lot of followers from those giveaways does not mean that you are a big account, if that makes sense. They don't follow you for your content, they follow you for your wallet, absolutely. Streaming is very much work smarter, not harder. Yeah, don't get me wrong. You do need to put some effort into streaming. So whether that be, you know, upgrading your, your assets, <laughs> assets. I always laugh at that. Whether that be upgrading your assets or whether that be like building friend, building friends, making friends <laughs> and building your community. Don't build friends. I mean, you can build your friends if you want to, but I don't know if they'll talk back. If you're consistently having one to two viewers, you need to think about why that is. Don't start streaming with the hopes of making money. Yeah, exactly right. Like I will be lucky and I'm happy to be completely uh, transparent here with you guys on what, what I make. You can see how much I make because of how many subs I've got. Twitch takes a f***ing sh** ton. Any donations I get, I get everything. But Twitch takes, is it 50-50? Is it but I'll be lucky. Sometimes I can make 250, 300 a month. This is Aussie dollars. Other times I can make 800 plus. It's very inconsistent. Yeah, it's literally IRL gacha. It depends. It just depends on how many people sub to you. You can't rely on income from Twitch. It's not, it's not good. 
I'm sorry, it's it's not good. Don't stream in the hopes of making it big or making money because chances are it's not going to happen. I'm not saying that's impossible, but unless you get really, really lucky and the discoverability gods grant you their favor, you know, it's probably not going to happen. It's a win for you. you. Used to have zero to one viewers, now two to three viewers consistently with one or two people you know in chat. That's a really, really good win. You know, think about it this way. You've got one viewer, now you've got two, two to three, you've doubled your viewership. That is what's happened. Okay, I know it doesn't sound like very much because, you know, one or two, but that is one or two viewers, two or three in this case, who have decided to watch you stream. They could have chosen anybody else and they watched you. It's fantastic. And that's why, that's what I love about it. Sadly, and that this is, this is a harsh reality. If you do want to grow, you do need to put in some sort of effort and there can be a financial cost involved, whether that be like upgrading your mic, getting a nice headset or headphone, building a PC to allow you to stream instead of using your phone to stream. Anything like that will always help you in the end, but it is a bit of a gamble, sadly. Do you have any more questions for me? I'm happy to answer as much as I would like. Of course, again, I'm not an expert. You guys know this, right? But I, I, I can do what I can to answer your questions. <laughs>